Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. I post new K-pop reaction videos here almost every single day, so if you like this video or see more videos just like this, so make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Check out some other stuff on the channel. Today I'm extremely excited to finally finally be doing another New East album reaction. Um this album is called The Table. It just dropped. Uh, it's a mini album, and uh for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I reacted to Happily Ever After when uh, that first dropped and uh, was floored. I loved a lot of the songs on that. Bet Bet is still one of my favorite songs that's come out this year, one of my favorite videos. Um, and the B-sides were very, very good uh, as well. So I'm excited. Expectations are high. Uh, I just reacted to Love Me uh, about an hour and a half ago-ish. Um, just reacted to Love Me. Was impressed, liked it a lot. I didn't like it as much as Bet Bet, just because aesthetically, uh, it's not the type of music I listen to as much. But in terms of its actual production value and using interesting samples and things like that, it's very good. Um, so that makes me excited for this uh, album. So, like I said, if you want to see my first reaction to Love Me, make sure you go ahead and check the top of the description below. There will be a link to my MV reaction. You can go check that out. Um and then come back here if you want. I probably will listen to Love Me again uh, here, but just want to say it's definitely not my first reaction because I just reacted to it. So, call me back. Here we go. Tropical? Nice little mouth click snap things. Okay. Give me the phone, this is rhythmically pretty interesting, actually. Nice rap. Love the rhythm structure of this section. Curious what they do for a bridge here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so, um, you guys know I'm gonna give my honest opinion about everything I hear. Um, Call Me Back, it's a nice, like, chill, tropical vibing song. 
Uh, the couple of rap bits that were in there were quite good. Um, I didn't hear anything that was really inspired, necessarily, or that interesting in that song. Um, a lot of the songs on Happily Ever After, I was like, oh, whoa, cool, can't believe I did, I heard that, can't believe they did that, whoa, awesome, amazing, really like that. And, uh, Love Me was the same way, Love Me, I, you'll hear in a second, I'll talk about some stuff I like as I listen to it, but, um, yeah, I don't know, Call Me Back just kind of feels like a generic, tropical, happy song, I don't know, chill vibe song from Tropical, it's not the type of music I typically like, um, and, uh, so, yeah, to be honest, not really probably gonna listen to that one again, not that it's a bad song, there's nothing offensive or poorly put together, just also nothing to really grab me or, or pull me back to it, um, so, yeah, on to Love Me, here we go, like I said, this will not be my first reaction to this song, um, but there's plenty to talk about, I think, still, because, uh, yeah. So right away, I'm like, okay, generic, happy, cutesy boy song, maybe? Not usually my favorite, but that's the vibe I get right away. Piano-driven. But then, all of a sudden, I'm hit with 3,000 layers of cool sounds. <laughs> Background vocals. The bass little beow, beow, synth line. Cool percussion switch-ups already. Main vocal switches up already. And then drop in with like this, um... Drop in with a saw. Kind of a bright saw. It's not really a really gritty saw. And then I was like, wait, like a rap build? And then a really clean, piano-driven... Chorus. Cool little violin hit thing. And this is just feel good right here. But with cool layering still. Cut to just the whistle and the drums. Add a couple more elements. Back to the saw section. Really clean chorus. Love how open and spacious and clean this chorus is. Not too bouncy, but it just works. Perfect blend of sounds for this. Beautiful, sorry, beautiful bass section where the bass drops out. Um, they do some really interesting stuff for a bridge. Interesting bass there we haven't heard all song. And then we get that bright that comes back stronger. Use the space. Love this soundscape. And end with that violin or the string hit really really cool like i said personally i don't like it as much as bet bet but i do like it a lot and there's a lot of cool stuff going on with that song so like i said if you do want to hear my first reaction to that make sure you go check out that at the description below let's move on hopefully i like these other b-sides more than i like to call me back one two 
A little bit of scatting going on. Nice background vocals. Nice place for a rap. More rap, interestingly enough. Ooh, nice build. I like the added bass textures. Ah, uh, we're just repeating this again. I was hoping for some kind of outro that was different. Okay, so um, I like that more than Call Me Back. Um, I still don't like it that much, though. Um, it feels too repetitive. There was definitely more interesting samples, some more unique sounds um, than there was in Call Me Back. I felt like Call Me Back was almost completely devoid of anything original or interesting. Um, whereas 1, 2, 3, it definitely has some elements and some layering and stuff that I like. But it still feels kind of empty, generic, poppy, like, yay, road trip, happy song to me. Um, it just doesn't work for me. The the rap bits did work for me. That's what I liked quite a bit. But yeah, this is another song I probably won't return to, to be honest with you. Um, which is making me sad. I hope that I like some of, the, some of these. Um, there's three left. But, I mean, even if not, it's it's not that these are bad songs. It's just that they're songs that don't pull me in in any way which based on their last mini album very much you know was not true very much their last mini album very much pulled me in a lot so yeah I'm, uh a little bit sad about these first couple of songs um but uh yeah one two three not a bad song by any means also not something i'm gonna listen to again probably on to trust me Interesting guitar mix right away. Yeah. 
Yo, I like this way more than either of the other two B-sides. Already. I like the like uh, almost rhythmic flow to those that song line. Love the vocal texture of the rap there. Curious where we're going for a bridge? I guess it's not time yet. We're gonna hit the chorus another time. Unless there is no bridge, they're just outgrowing after the chorus. That's what it looks like. Interesting. Or it's a really late bridge. Okay, they cut a lot of the instrumental just down to the drums and the bass. Pretty string synths. fade out so trust me is definitely my favorite of the b-sides so far um there's just just the mix of guitars that they picked with the singing style um and then those like string stints uh i think works pretty well um yeah it's good i i like that like i said quite a bit more than anything else uh except love me i like love me way more than that but yeah it's a good song that's one i will listen to again i think um still a little bit disappointed i hope that i love these last two songs because otherwise this whole album is going to kind of be a miss for me because like trust me is like i like it but it's still doesn't touch any of the songs on happily ever after i don't know so yeah i'm uh hoping i love these but if not uh it's okay Okay, really rich instrumental so far. The vocals uh, pretty far forward, more than normal, I think. Mm, those chords. Cheers for the chords ends up.
I like these verses a lot. The chorus is kind of a miss for me, I think, still. But I, I like this these verses. I like the mix. I like their style of delivery. I like how things build and kind of construct during the verses. Or like, this is like pre-chorus more than verses, but... Like, this is gorgeous. This section. The chorus kind of feels like a letdown, though. I'm not gonna lie. The chorus doesn't feel worthy of the quality of the build-up. I don't know. This is cool. I love this bridge section. Okay, so here's the thing. I love everything, or at least very much like everything except the chorus, but the chorus is a massive letdown in my opinion. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I like that less than Trust Me, but more than any of the other B-sides. It's still not anywhere close to Love Me in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's a good song. I just wish the chorus was something else. But the build-up is gorgeous. The bridge sections, the pre-chorus... The outro, all very, very, very pretty. Like the mix of instruments, like the style of singing, like how everything's mixed. Um, but that chorus is a big letdown for me. Okay, please, please let me love If We. If I just love this song, then it'll be alright. Um, here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, actually I like how uh, kind of disparate and lonely that guitar feels almost. So that's Ren, right? He was the one that people said had a really high pretty voice, I think, that I really liked. Very dramatic, emotional. Like, where were vocals like this the whole album? This is some of the stuff that I liked from Newies. Alright, 
Piano driven bridge. Beautiful. Nice outro as well. Okay. So I said I really needed to love... No, 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 no. I said I really needed to love if we... Um, and I do. I, that That is definitely not even close to any... Any of the other B-sides are not miles and... Not even miles. Th thousands of light years away from if we. I think if we is like... A really cool spacious kind of lonely very emotional powerful track with some cool vocal showcase um really 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 like that song i like that song like two percent less than love me or maybe it's about the same as love me i don't know which is a song that i love by the way um trust me i like significantly less than if we like it's not even close but i do like trust me way more than the other b-sides um yeah if we is amazing though like seriously 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 love that why couldn't they have done that on the other three b-sides <laughs> other four b-sides because trust me wasn't even close either i don't know um uh i'm gonna be honest with you guys yeah i'm a little bit i'm pretty disappointed not a little bit i'm very disappointed in this album because happily ever after is like i said a very 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 cool album and love me when i heard love me and i react to love me i was like i'm even more pumped for this album i'm so excited cool so excited to hear more new east so excited to hear more um and uh yeah this was uh like three of these songs were super empty four chordsy nothing interesting nothing original going on didn't like them at all and then Trust Me has actually got some things going on that I like, but If We is amazing, and Love Me, the title track, is amazing. Um, yeah, so like like I said, if you guys haven't yet seen it, you can go watch my original, or my original, original reaction video. Yeah, that's a thing. You can go watch my uh, initial reaction video to Love Me, uh, the music video. That'll be linked in the description below. Um, and, uh... As always, I want to know how you guys feel about this album, about Love Me. Um, how do you feel this stacks up to New East's other music? Because, uh, frankly, I am super let down by this album. Um, I really, like, most of what I've heard from New East, I am obsessed with, in love with. Um, and uh love me and if we i am obsessed with and in love with but literally the rest of this album is a massive letdown for me so but as always i want to know you know if you guys like some of the stuff i dislike and why uh if you dislike the songs that i do like uh let me know thank you so much i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and please remember to stay newbie